All right. Got two dual four ohm Scar EVL 12s. And I just made a video showing from the other perspective, but I'll show with the amp now. This is a four ohm dual voice coil sub. So it has two sets of terminals, one on this side, one on this side. So to make this sub go from four to two, I have a jumper from this side to this side. And then I have another set coming out and going to the amp. So I got a set here. And this particular amp has two positives, two negatives for this kind of application. Some just have one and you have to cram them both in there or get like a little distribution or a little terminal block that has two. So this is the positive and negative from one. This is the positive and negative from the other. And once they get here, it's one terminal. This is one set and this is another set that are connected. So it'd be the same as if I took these wires and connected them and then ran another wire to this. So I'm going from four ohms to two and then taking this two ohms and this two ohms and connecting them together here which will make it go to one ohm. Kind of like taking two pieces of bread and making a sandwich. You went from two to one. If you go the opposite, the positive, the negative, instead of the positive, the positive, negative, negative, if you go positive, the negative, and negative, the positive, then you'd go from four to eight and eight to 16. So as long as you're positive, the positive on the sub and here, you're gonna cut it in half. So we went from two four ohm subs down to four. Now, two four ohm subs down to two, and then two down to one. So you have two four ohm dual voice call subs, and together they go down to one ohm, which is what most of these amps are rated at. If you go half, people on the internet will cry and say you're going to blow them up. Don't make people cry on the internet. The other set I had was at half ohm, but I got a little confidence in this amp, I guess. It never blew up. Had it for about a year, and then I swapped these subs out for those subs and played around with them a little while. I'm about to take them out now and sell this truck, and I'll be selling all this equipment as well. So if it isn't sold and you see this video and you need some subs or an amp or an extra battery, some one-odd wire, let me know.